All right, we're starting this already in progress, but uh, maybe in other videos you've noticed the quizzical inclination of the old bridge port there, and uh, it was because this worm gear here wasn't turning on that anymore. A little shaft here just spun in the housing. Pretty exciting stuff. So uh, luckily, without very much drama at all, I put a pair of ice grips on it, slid right out of the housing. However, the shaft broke off around in here, give or take. So the worm gear can't come out. It's reasonably soft metal. Unfortunately, you can't see in there, but uh, I did drill it, tapped it, tried this abomination, and uh, it drills and taps at the same time. Uh, other than making your ass pucker a whole bunch as you slowly thread it in there, uh, it seemed to work pretty good, surprisingly. Um, obviously, you keep the RPMs extremely slow and in my case I, I drilled it first and then uh, ran the drill slash tap thing in through there because you need a hell of an extension to get down in there with the actual tap I didn't happen to have a tap extension so uh, we're sticking uh, this bad boy on there 1024 the rod and then I welded a nut on the pair of vice grips here that boy right there clamped it onto the threaded rod started giving her a old one two and uh, by God it started to come out so we'll keep at it well here we go believe it or not we're actually making a little bit of progress but uh I might be slightly out of the design spec of 1024 rod. So, uh, you can see, beating on this is just chattering the fuck out of these nuts. And stripping the threads on the rod. And, uh, generally just being disagreeable. But, I did want to make sure I had, uh, room to drill up a size and tap slightly larger when this inevitably fails and there's not a tremendous amount of room in there so start small now we can go bigger more better well that's exciting not totally unexpected we did start at 1024 so we had the ability to go to quarter 20 when this inevitably ripped out broke and otherwise just uh yeah told me to go whatever so here we are you see in the bore here the shaft has come out a fair bit we're definitely making some progress which uh is better than i can say about the rest of my life but it's neither here nor there and also notice now this worm gear is starting to wiggle we're very close so uh, I'm optimistic we drill this out to quarter inch and uh, tapper maybe we'll be right as rain or something close to it Danger, Will Robinson. Wrong way.
So here we are, instrument of the devil. This thing gives me the serious heebie-jeebies. Can't even play. But, uh, I am at this time lacking in the ability to get down in there, so, uh, run what you brung, right? Mar. Danger. And there you go. I'm done. So here we are back at it. Now that we've uh, used up all available real estate in the shaft itself to tap and try to yank it out with a sled, slide hammer, one of these days I'll learn the English language, we're cutting it out with a four and a half inch grinder. It seems to be working reasonably well so far. I've bumped the housing once. Uh, we're cutting slots in it here, use a screwdriver, hammer it around so we can rotate it and hopefully we can cut all the way through. Remains to be seen. Oh, we've got three quarters of the way through the gear, give or take. We got a reasonable amount of flex in here finally. I really not a big fan of grinding over the mill, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Dare I say, I think we just uh, made it. Ta-da. There's a 
the rest of it. That shaft goes a little ways in. Probably be easier to tap it into the center. All things considered. All right, little uh, ball peen hammer here on this punch, and not not enough oomph, or I'm just too much of a girl to take your pick. So the answer is always bigger hammer, right? Am I right? I'm right. There she is. Pop right out. Sort of, kind of. Took a little persuasion. Uh, can't win them all, I guess. Until you get a bigger hammer. So, uh, unfortunately, worm gear and a uh, little shaft still on its way. Even though I ordered it a fortnight ago. But I got a little extra time to clean the schmoo out of this. So, eh. Alright, guys. So, here we go. I think I uh, finished earlier in another clip, I haven't uh, edited this out yet, but uh, we got this bad boy out, it sheared off right where it necks down for the groove, for the set screw to hold this puppy in place, which is about where you would uh, expect it to, so it's twisting around and requires a fair amount of uh, pressure to get this thing to turn the head and it's unsupported on the deep end of the bore so it has a the capability to cant a little bit bind up and lo and behold you have a little bugger snap right off in there for you replacement part good little bit longer idea behind this is when you slide the gear on, like so, it's supported on this end, less ability for it to cant over. Hopefully it lasts a little bit longer. It remains to be seen, but uh, probably outlasts me, especially at the rate I'm going. So, problem being now is that you got to drill a hole into the head of the mill, about seven inches down into that bore. And have that bore centered. Uh, the hole centered in the bore. So, um, what do you do? Went to the local disappointment spot. Found a 5 8 OD spacer. They only had half inch ID. So, we did half inch OD bronze bearing here and, uh, the appropriate 3 8 ID so the benefit to using the bronze bearing piece inside the spacer is the spacer is a little undersized on the ID and the OD so it slides into the bore reasonably well not a lot of slop so it works out bronze bearing is more true to size though so if you use just a regular spacer in this spot it's going to fit rather sloppy in this spacer 
And uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna add some more tolerance, and the bore you're drilling in there won't be totally uh, as good as it possibly could be. Uh, we're trying to do the best half-ass job we can. So gonna push this bad boy in there, and we'll take her over to the mill. This is. Admittedly, not a press, but hey, I'm not putting this in the whole 20 ton press just to slide it together. I mean, it's got very little interference, so she pops right in there. Very little effort. Like so. Don't get no easier than that, right? So we're, here we are. Spacer and bearing slid right in there, in like sin. So uh, probably gonna be horrible to get out, even though it slid in easily. They never come out as easily as they went in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So drill it in. Lots of room to put the drill on. That should center her up. You see the wear mark from the old gear. Drops right in the center. We're in business. Let's get this bad boy uh, drilled up. With any luck, we'll be uh, making inaccurate, horrible parts that everybody's disappointed in. Before you know it. I don't believe it or not. As I pulled the drill out, this uh, came partially out. Oh, Lady Luck shines on us occasionally. Uh, let's clean her up. Should be good kill. And she's all back together. Shaft slid right in, set screw went in. Slid her back on the four bolts. Easy peasy, right? Right. Till next time.